Okay, so welcome. This is Tony Viola Dada, your soul brother, with another episode of Conversation. So every month I write a blog, and recently one of my members of my team was saying that, Uncle T, the blog that you write doesn't really break it down enough, and people won't really get the fullness of what you're bringing. I work closely with you, so I understand it, but a lot of people are missing out. So he suggested why don't we do a video blog that actually gives us the opportunity to really break it down further and bring out the nuggets that I've written in the actual blog. So hence the reason why we're here again. Each month we're going to do this as long as there's a need for it and people see the value. So without any further ado, I'd like to invite my young man, Natty, young soldier. Are you in the house? Yeah, Uncle, how are you doing? I'm real good. And how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good. So this is your idea. Gives yep. us the opportunity to to break things down. So let's get straight into it. We the blog that I wrote recently this month was entitled Business Money and You. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna hand over to you in terms of how you found it and any questions that you think you want to ask to enable us to expand and go deeper. Yes, yeah, so the essence of the blog was more, it was titled Business Money and You, but it was more in terms of, because I've been with you for a long time, you've always said to me, money is the last thing that you need. Uh, and I didn't understand that because I'm like, my parents and my elders always told me, you need money to do anything. So it was a different way of thinking. And that's what the, that's what the blog conveys, a different way of thinking in this new season to the fact where it's not about how much money you can make but how much value you can add okay absolutely and so the reason why i entitled it business money and you is because i know that the common mindset is usually in that order people are thinking about business but they're really only thinking about business because they want to make money that's the truth. And so, you know, I'm always talking about rule number one in, in our work and in our world is keep it real. Like, because if you're lying to yourself, game's over and you don't even realize it. So most people just want to start a business because they just want to make some money. Well, so that means really, if you could skip the business and just make the money, you just go get the money. And so in that order, business, money and you, you, the individual is usually the last thing that you really are thinking about. You just want to get some money. Well, you just want to do some business so you can get some money so you can be happy. And the truth is, and what we share through our Mind Reset course is the reason why 80% of new startup businesses fail is because it's back to front. Yeah. And our working, as you know, we've been working with NetWest now for some eight years or so. The reason why we were working with them is because we're bringing that new awareness that people don't seem to understand that business is the, you shouldn't be thinking about business. You shouldn't be thinking about money. The first thing you should be thinking about is you and your purpose. And what do you want to do? What is it that you love to do? What is it that makes you happy? What is it that you would care to do every day? If you could, what's that thing that you love? that's where you should be starting from and so that's why i deliberately entitled it business money and you because in the blog i was like well it's actually deliberately i've messed up the order it should be you first and when you work on yourself and you do that work and you find out what you you invest in yourself discover your gifts your talents your abilities what you love what you're passionate about then we look at how we could package that because if we can package that in such a way that you now, that's what you do. The things that you love, the things that you're gifted to do, the things that you are passionate about. Imagine what that would be like every day. You get to do the stuff that you love. And then the icing on the cake, people pay you for it. Like, that's crazy. That's the life that I'm talking about. And that's the life that I've been living for almost three decades and want to show people how you can do that. And it comes down to living a life on purpose. Because on upon just touching on that, upon reading the blog, what, one of the things I wrote down was your purpose will be found where you enjoy adding the most value. Yeah. And so this is the next thing that we have to touch on. So 
I mean, I'm talking about society generally, but I'm definitely talking about the community that you and I come from. I know my community because I've been doing this work for nearly three decades. And the number one reason why people don't experience abundance in all of the areas of their lives, I'm talking about mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, and relationships is because no one has taught us about value. So we don't value our mind. My spiritual mentor said, he said to me once, isn't it a shame that the greatest gift that the Most High has given to man, his mind, we don't know how to use it. We don't know how to use it because we don't value it. Similarly, relationships, if we don't value each other, I might say, yeah, you're my brethren, but do I value the relationship? And you can see if I value it by my actions. You know, if we have a, if we say we're going to get together and we have a meeting, do I show up on time or early or late? You know, if I, have I, have we done any kind of financial interactions in terms of, you know, borrowing or lending or doing business? And how has that relationship, that financial deal, how has it been? You see, it's the lack of value that sets us up because what we don't realize is that spiritual law doesn't governs everything. As I've said, I've had a spiritual mentor since 1983. And yeah, that's before some of y'all were born. Before I was born. Right. And so why am I saying that? Because I've learned some things. And the only reason why I do what I'm doing now is because I've realized that nobody's teaching young ones and people from my community, these spiritual laws that govern everything, don't matter how smart you are, how intelligent you are, how whatever you think you've got going on, if you don't operate with spiritual law, you're dead and you don't even know it. And the spiritual law where value is concerned is if you have something, whatever it may be, and you do not value it, then by spiritual law, you will not be able to gain the full benefit of that. So that means... If you've got a hundred pounds and you don't value the hundred pounds, how you utilize that hundred pounds won't be to the same degree that I will. Not because we've got more money, but I value it more than you. So when you look at what I'm able to do with my hundred pounds, you'll be like, but we had the same money because spiritual law sets us apart. Similarly, if you've got a relationship, the relationship with your partner, your, your you know, yeah, you, whoever your, you know, your partner is, you will know whether you value that person by the nature of how that relationship blossoms. Are you with me? Yes. Similarly, in your business, if you've got a business idea or a hustle, if you value that, and when I say value, it has a purpose. You're not just doing it for self gratification. If it has a purpose that is gonna be a benefit for others then you know why it's important and you value that. Now you increase by spiritual law, the probability of that business being successful. But like I said, people don't, no one teaches you this kind of stuff. And this yeah. is why we, we're having these conversations and breaking it down. Yeah, because just touching on the business aspect of things, when I first met you nine years ago, my idea of business was to start something so you can make money. Uh, through being with you over these, the years, I've realized that that was a taker's mentality. And you often said to me, the universe is about giving and taking. You can't just take and not give. Well, it's, so it's, it's not even just giving and taking. Let's get the wording right, because that's the other thing that we don't do. So, you know, I, I'm from Nigeria, so we pay attention to words because words have energy. So it's not even giving and taking, it's giving and receiving. Yes, yes, yes. So in order for you to receive someone's money in business, you need to be able to add exponential value. And what a lot of people, well, I can't say a lot of people, but what I realized from when I was younger is I wasn't always focusing on the amount of value that I gave for the price tag that I put on a product. Absolutely. And you're right in what you said. Most people are exactly in the position that you said. They are takers, literally vampires, just looking at what they can get whether it be for from a deal, a business deal, they're not looking at the service. 
or what they are going to be providing with, with a spirit of excellence and value. They're like, what can I get out of this? Equally, even in relationships, people are stepping into relationships like, not what can I bring to this person, but what can I get? Oh yeah, I want to be checking her like, oh yeah, she looks so good. Like, you know, it's, it's what can I get? The moment you understand that that's a poverty mindset, which affects all and every single area of your life, the moment you understand that, then your number one priority, even before getting the money to start the business, will be to change that mindset to one of a prosperous mindset. Because guess what? When you have a prosperous mindset, by spiritual law, we know and understand that what you value grows, what you give your attention to, what you focus on grows. When you have a, a prosperous mindset, magic happens. Your whole world changes. People start giving you money. You start attracting things. You don't have to go and take it. It comes to you. And you know, you've worked with me for nine years. You've seen it play where I've not had the money for something, but I've had the idea and, and set the intention. And then the money comes. How do you go from a situation where uh, I'm paying, you know, like 15, 1600 pounds to go on a three day course with, with Simon Calls and the Internet Business School Millionaire? And within three months, he's paying me to be a sponsor on one of my events. How does that happen? Well, when you understand the whole concept of a prosperous mindset and how you operate, then you literally can attract it. And you know, you see me do it. I've been doing that for over 20 years because it's based on tried, tested formula. And this is the stuff that we teach. So as you know, I started my not-for-profit organization with just a vision. And within a few years, we had raised almost 2 million pounds that we invested in the community and young people's lives up and down the country. So it's a practice that we've now crafted into a formula that works for people who are serious about that mindset. Yeah. Yeah. That's so yeah, that's that's basically the essence of what you were communicating in the blog. It's about, it's about you and I have been able to package the value that you're able to give to people to be able to attract money. Because you also said in the blog, that's how you attract money and keep it. Yeah, you know, and the thing is, it's so important, but people don't really pay attention and it's understandable because the truth of the matter is people don't really care enough. That's what it is. 